All right, the final step is to deploy our extension to the Chrome Web Store. So how do we do that? Go to Google and search for Chrome Dashboard and click on this first link. Now it's going to ask you to log in and once you log in, you'll be presented with this particular web page. Now of course you won't have these listings, but you will have this content and the only thing that I would recommend you to change initially is just this developer display name. Now I've changed it to code evolution and this is basically what it shows here in the web store. And if you notice, I have left the other things as it is. Now to publish your extension, click on add new item. And this is going to say upload an extension or an application. And it says that upload a zip file of your item directory and not a package CRX file. So let's zip one of our folders, one of our extensions. Let's say hello world. I'm going to zip this. And now once I have the zipped file, I can upload it. So choose file and hello world. I'm going to click on open and it is going to basically upload that zipped file. I'm going to click on upload. All right. So once the upload is done, once the uploading is done, it is going to take us to the next page where we have to specify certain details about our extension. Now, the first thing you need to fill out is the detailed description. And this is basically what you're going to see here when someone clicks on your extension in the Chrome Web Store. The next thing, icon. So upload a proper icon so that it gets displayed over here in the Chrome Web Store. And then screenshots. Now, try to provide as much screenshots as possible that illustrate the functionality of your extension. For example, I have three screenshots for Wicked. The first one is I'm selecting some text the second one, I'm just right clicking on and selecting Wicked Context menu. And finally, it takes me to the Wikipedia page of Antiproton Decelerator. All right, the next thing is about promotion. I'm not going to go over that. If you want to, you can upload some images and anything to do regarding your website. Again, these are not mandatory. You can specify a category for your extension. <coughs> Excuse me. So developer tools, fun, news and weather, photos, whatever suits your extension. Now pricing and payments, I'm going to leave it as free. And the regions where your extension is available. So you might want to leave them all selected. And some of the other options. So these are not really mandatory. So I'm not going to go over them to be honest. Analytics, if you want to track analytics of your extension. And visibility options, so it's public and all that. So again, I would recommend you to only fill in for your initial extension, the detailed description, an icon, some screenshots, and the category. So everything else, you can leave it as it is. And when you click on preview changes over here, it is basically going to show how your extension is going to look in the Chrome Web Store. Now, of course, I have not uploaded any icon or any of the screenshots or a description. So this is how it's going to show up. But again, once you fill all the details, it's going to be different. So let me return to the dashboard. And yeah, that's it. And if I say, if I go to edit, and let's say you make a revision to your extension, then you can upload that updated package over here. So you can change the version to 1.1, 1.2, in the manifest, and then upload the updated package. So that is how you basically deploy a Chrome extension into the web store.